Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to go through the setup process and review this Artec Universal Backlit Bluetooth Keyboard. And the model on this one is HB030B. So let's take a look at the back of the packaging and here's all the different information on the back of the packaging. So make sure that you read through this. So I'm going to take everything out of the packaging now and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so here's what was inside of the packaging and the keyboard did have some plastic packaging around it. Make sure that you take that off and throw it away. And then we have the USB charging cable and they gave like some, um, you know, some feet here, like some rubber feet that you can put on the bottom of the keyboard if you like. And then here is the user manual and this is another piece of paperwork. And make sure that you read through the user manual and this piece of paperwork before you do use the keyboard. All right guys, so here's a closer look at the keyboard. Right here is the on off switch. And then right here is the connect button. And then right here are some different status lights. And in my opinion, this keyboard is really thin. This is how thin the keyboard is. And if we take a look at the other side, this is where you plug in the USB cable when you need to charge your keyboard. And then this is what the back of the keyboard looks like. And next we are going to go through the setup process. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to turn the on off switch to the on position. And the light above where it says power turns on and now it's turned off. And then I'm going to press the connect button and now the light above where it says status is blinking. Okay, so the keyboard should show up in the device that you're trying to pair it to as Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard in available devices. And once you select that and the keyboard is paired to the device that you're trying to pair it to, the light above status has turned off and the keyboard was on, but it will go into sleep mode after you haven't used it for a certain amount of time. Okay, and the next thing that you need to do is let the keyboard know whether you're using it with an iOS device, with an Android device, or with a Windows device. And you do that by holding down function and pressing Q for iOS, W for Android, or E for Windows. Okay, so I'm going to test this out on an iPad. So I'm going to press function Q for iOS. And then I'm going to test this out by typing thanks for watching and I'll let you guys listen to how loud the keyboard is. Okay, so this color of backlight is at its brightest. So if we press the function and this alt button and then let off, it will turn the backlight off. And then if we do that again, this is the lighter version of that color of backlight. And then if we do that again, it will go back to the original color. Okay, so now I'll show you how to change different backlight colors. So if you press the function and this alt button and then page up or page down, you can go through the different colors. So here are all the different backlight colors. And now we're back to the original. And no matter what color of the backlight that you have on, this is the brightest version of this color. You can press the function and this alt button and it will turn the backlight off. And then if we press the function and alt button again, it goes to the lighter version of that color. Okay, and for the status lights, the caps light will be on when you have caps lock on. The status light will be blinking after you press the connect button until the keyboard is paired to a device. The charge light will be on while the keyboard is charging and it will be red when the keyboard is charging and green when the keyboard is fully charged. And the power light, after you turn the keyboard on, the power light will stay on for four seconds and then turn off, but the keyboard is still on. And the power light will be blinking when the keyboard is low on battery. All right, guys, and then when you're all done, make sure to turn the keyboard off to save battery power. And here's my opinion of this keyboard. I like how thin it is. I like the different backlight colors, and I think that it was easy to set up. So far, I'm really happy with this keyboard. And I didn't end up using these rubber feet, but you can use them if you would like to. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful and thank you so much for watching. I do plan on making future videos about this keyboard, so please check back for those videos. 
Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.